See, the issue I have with the military is that it's totally corrupt. They use every opportunity to increase the funding. So 9-11 was perfect. They didn't really care as much as they cared about making money. So that was a great opportunity for them to increase the defense spending dramatically. And it only goes to a, a couple different companies. There should be, there needs to be more competition in the military-industrial complex, and it sh we need more accountability. For the first time ever, they should have an audit competition oversight, so that you're not going to get projects that take ten years, overly engineered and just totally useless. Because they're just, it's just a big slush fund for them. You know, they go in there into in the DC, Washington, DC, those lobbyists from those companies, and they bribe our politicians. They're not our politicians, they represent themselves. Let's get down to it. They only care about the campaign donations, they only care about having a position within those companies after they get out of office, and then they become sort of a a connection to Washington and, and they just receive a you know generous sums of money because it's all bribery now the world being as it is we definitely do need a, a strong military but there's a way to do it without being corrupt for instance bribery legal bribery also known as lobbyists, you know, going in there and influencing politicians with money, campaign donations, lofty positions after they retire from from public office, um, money for their their family, their their you know for the kids and all this. That's all nepotism. That all needs to end. If anybody is caught doing that and if anybody does it it should be automatic serious crime to eradicate that there should be no financial interest it's kind of like insider trading there should be no financial interest from the people who make the laws this is pathetic and nobody sees it nobody sees it um let's see here so we, we definitely need a strong military because you do have other quote unquote tribes in the world who have their own military. So we need to protect our own interests. But the way they're doing it is pathetic. We're not real. Why did we rebuild Iraq and then just walk away without any oil, without any alliance? You know what that was? Because it wasn't. Listen, they have a great, a lot of great deals going on from Iraq, but it's just not the public. It's not the people of the United States who are benefiting. The people who are benefiting are the companies. The companies have lucrative, exclusive deals to get oil from there, from uh, other natural resources. But us, no, we should get subsidized. What we pay at the tank should be similar to what Saudi Arabians pay which is like 10 cents a gallon because they are being subsidized because they have so much oil there. So how do, why did we rebuild Iraq? I mean, let's not even talk about the reason we went there because we all know that was bullshit. So we need a total reorganization of the military uh, defense spending, total reorganization, and the corruption make lobbyists illegal. That's not free speech. That's bribery. Okay? That's eradicated across the board. We need a lot of common sense ideas. And this is these are ideas that are not happening. I don't know why... People are elected to office and they have no ideas whatsoever. It's pathetic. It's an embarrassment. 
And we should be sick and goddamn tired of it. 